My god. Uh, clean your eyelashes. No, 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 no. Oh, oh god. I use my Dyson hair wrap again to do my hair, but I feel like all the curls have just kind of gone into one big curl. Right, so if you haven't seen my previous video, I was decluttering a bunch of my makeup, and in that video I found a load of old, dirty, disgusting looking beauty blenders, and I said in that moment that I wanted to do a video where I get a microscope and look at my makeup and old beauty blenders and just my general whole makeup kit under a microscope. I have seen loads of people do this type of video before, and I just really wanted to try it myself, so I went on Amazon, I got myself this digital USB plug-in microscope, and I am going to inspect my daily makeup bag, my makeup brushes, my beauty blenders, and see how dirty they actually are up close. I'm just really interested, to be honest. If you get freaked out by stuff like this, maybe don't watch this video. I don't know who the first person was to do this video, but I'm not claiming credit. This is not an original idea. So I've got my laptop. Um, this is how I'm gonna be doing it. And then I will have my findings on the screen here. Let me just close down Minecraft. So it's got a little light on the end. You can change the focus. You can turn the brightness of the light up and down. Oh, I'm not actually sure I wanna do this. Okay, so I've just picked out this old um, Sport FX beauty sponge from my box of old sponges. Haven't used this in ages. I was just about to take a thumbnail. But guys, look at this. What is all that white stuff? Ugh. Right, let's look at the size of the... Okay, that, that's the side of the sponge where, you know, I haven't really used too much makeup on it. But the bottom of the sponge... Why is that one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen? Jesus, okay, if anyone has trypophobia, trypophobia? I can't remember what it's called. Um, I'm gonna have to put a warning before this. There's some like cream highlighter on the end of this. I'm really interested to see how that's gonna look. Now it's just not focusing. Oh, okay, it's focused. Oh my God. Uh this is actually making me reconsider my life choices there's just so many like little bits in it that you don't even notice like little bits of fluff like what is that okay moving on i'm gonna try this foundation brush which has not been washed in about two or three weeks oh why do the hairs look so gross oh look at that what are all of those little round blobs is that like bacteria Ew. Ew. Oh, look at that. There's like a bit of black fluff, a bit of red fluff. What if I like really open up the middle of the foundation brush? Ew. Ew. Okay, that is way worse. Okay, yep, that is so much worse. Uh. Oh my god. I'm gonna wash my brushes after this. I'll do some more of my brushes in a minute. I wanna take an actual makeup product though. So I am gonna go for my lovingly used Soph highlighter palette. First of all, I'm gonna try the actual plastic. Wow, look at all the scratches. I'm gonna go for the purple one. Ooh, wait, let me just focus it a little bit. Okay. There's like bits of gold in there from where the other shades, dust has like gone into it. I mean, they look cool, but there's nothing that interesting. Look, look at the side of all the pans. Oh, look at all that makeup product that's just sitting in all the gaps. Am I ever gonna want to use makeup ever again after this video? Are you ever gonna want to use makeup ever again after this video? Okay, next up, I'm testing my Jaclyn Hill palette as a comparison. I don't wanna actually get it. Okay, right, I'm trying this shade first. Ooh. I mean, it looks really pretty. The pink one looks like it's been pressed different. Look, if you look at the texture of this compared to the texture of this. I'm gonna do my Kiko bronzer that I've had for about two years now. Yes, I'm still using it. It doesn't seem to break me out or anything, but it is very old. Let's do the lid. Ew, look how filthy that is. Um, I'm gonna do the mirror. All that is is literally just the powder on the mirror, but up close, that looks disgusting. It definitely looks worse than it is when you put a microscope to it. It looks like little grains of sand or something. Oh. 
I mean, to be honest, it doesn't look too bad up close. Like, the actual product just looks like... Okay, that looks a bit dodgy, but I think that's just the pattern. But that's okay. That wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Next up, I'm going to try a pair of eyelashes. I've used these a couple of times, so I'm interested to see what is stuck on them. That's so weird. It looks like a load of plastic sticks. Look at that glue. There's just so much dust and just fluff that gets stuck in them. To be honest, these ones aren't too... Okay, there's a bit of fluff there. These ones don't look too bad. These aren't even my worst lashes. I'm gonna go and get an older pair of lashes. These are the Fern McCann eyelashes. These were from Poundland and I've worn them quite a few fair times. These ones are definitely a lot worse. Like, look at that. I think that is some eyeliner that's peeled off and stuck to the lash glue. Look at that glue, that looks so disgusting. And oh my god, the ends of the lashes, they just don't look nice. What is all that stuff stuck in them? Right there is one of my own eyelashes, you can see the root of it, where my eyelash has been pulled out and is stuck to my lashes. There's also a cat hair in them. Look at the end of that eyelash. They just look nasty, really. If anyone is watching this and needs to hear this, clean your eyelashes, your fake eyelashes. Clean them, or when they get to a point of no return, chuck them away and get a fresh pair. Treat yourself. Let's do my Soph eyeshadow palette. I'm going in on the shade Cookie Dough, which is the one that I've used the most. Ooh. That really does not look nice close up. Oh, look at all that powder. Um, let's try the shade 21. There's little bits of dust on it, lovely. This palette is so filthy. Whoa, look at that shade. That's one of the shimmer shades. Up close, it just looks like a bunch of glitter. Why do shimmer eyeshadows look so gross when you zoom in on them? Whoa. I'm gonna do my mascara, which is probably out of date. This is actually really hard to do without actually getting makeup all over my microscope. It just kind of looks like a big hairy spider and it's kind of scaring me a bit. Um. I'm gonna test one of my Soph lipsticks. Oh, you can see like all the lines where I've been swiping it on my lips. No, I don't like that. I don't like it. What are all those like little black dots? There is, okay, this is disgusting. On the side of this, there is some like sticky stuff from where I think one of my lash glues got on it. But when you zoom in on that, look at all the dirt that is in the sticky stuff. Okay, that is gross. That's not okay. I'm gonna go for this blush that I've literally just started using by Diego Della Palma. Oh, what is that? There is so much in here and in products in general that your eyes can't actually see. Oh, I guess that's the point of a microscope, but um, it's kind of weird. Like there's so many little dots and bits of dust on makeup that you don't even notice. So I'm gonna do the inside of my makeup bag. There's just bits of foundation, bits of powder, just grubbiness everywhere. A lot of these are obviously like the uh, star prints that are on the outside of this. By the way, if you are new here, this is my makeup bag that was from my Skinny Dip collection. Um, but it's actually out of stock now, which is really sad. I wanna do the Benefit Gimme Brow. Let's do a couple of eyebrow products. They pick up a lot of gross stuff. Okay, yeah, there's so many little bits of I don't know, I guess like hair, fibres, I think this might have fibres in it. Actually, I don't know if the Gimme Brow Plus, which is the new one, has fibres. I think they might have taken them out. Oh, you know what? I want to do like the inside of the tube. Ew, it looks like an eyeball. Oh yeah. Look at the edge of the tube. Is that all the little fibres? I think it does have fibres in it then. Oh, okay, that is nasty looking. Yeah, look, there is fibers in it. Oh, this is the original Gimme Brow. I'm gonna do my sponge that I use every day. This has not been washed today because I just used it to do my makeup. Oh my God. Look at the difference on the bits of the sponge that I don't use for my face. And then the bits of the sponge that I do use for my face. That is mad. That is actually disgusting. There's just so many bits of fluff and dust that I haven't even noticed. Okay, what is that inside it? This is actually making me feel really uneasy. <laughs> At least I guess if you clean it, like I do clean this every day, it looks kind of like this, but when it's not clean, it looks like this. Nope, 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 nope. I kind of want to try the makeup on my actual face. This is my highlighter on my skin. Oh my God. 
look at that. Ooh, that's so weird. Is it me? Or can you literally see the foundation like sitting in my pores? Oh my God, look at my eyelashes. That is one of the grossest things I've seen today. Do not try this at home. I should probably not be shining a light into my eye, but just saying, I did try out a new mascara today and I don't like it. It's too clumpy. I think we can see that. What about my eyebrow? Oh, oh God. What is all that white stuff? Is that my powder? You know what? The ends of my hair actually look quite healthy. Look at that. So this is my powder brush, which is definitely in need of a wash. Oh God. Oh my God, that is actually so gross. What? are all those little bobbles on it. Okay, let's open it up. Oh my God. I swear, after this video, I am going to go and wash all of my brushes because that is not okay. I am so sorry that you're having to witness this. Right, that's enough of that. Okay, wait, the last thing I wanna try is my fake tanning mitts. This one has not been washed and I'm just really, really curious to see what it looks like. It's gone green. I think from the guide color of the tan, I'm not really sure why it looks like this, but it's mostly just fluff and green tint. That one is not too bad. Um, let's try this one. Yeah, to be honest, there's not too much on here that looks disgusting. And on that note, I think we are done here. I'm really sorry if I just completely grossed you out. That's kind of grossed me out a little bit and I'm definitely off to go and wash my brushes and my beauty blenders um, just so that I can feel a little bit better. So I'm now just going to answer a question of the day. If you guys have any more questions for me, please leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day and I might answer them in my next video. I feel like a robot every time I say that now. Today's question comes from Ollie Juicebox and they have said, do you think it will be very emotional when you actually move out? Do you think you'll cry or your parents? To be honest, I don't know. Yeah, I think my parents are gonna be sad. I think once they've actually helped me move all my stuff in and I'm actually like not coming back to sleep here, I think they will get sad. Yeah, I'm sure there probably will be some tears. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I reckon there might be from me as well, especially once I've packed up all my room and everything, it's just gonna look really bare and weird. And I think once I've like finished moving everything in, it's just gonna be a really weird feeling because I've never like left home before. So I do think it will be emotional. Obviously like I'm sad to go, like I'm sad to be leaving my parents, but also at the same time, I'm very, very excited to have my own space. And obviously I'm not gonna be alone. I'll be with James, so I'm sure I will be fine. But yeah, I do think it will be a bit emotional. All right, I'm gonna end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That would really help me out. Um, if you aren't already subscribed and you wanna do that, please feel free, there's a button down there. Also make sure to turn my notifications on and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.